Getting the latest technology in your older desktop PC isn't nearly as difficult as you might think. Only a couple screws are between you and the latest in USB technology. Adding the two-port USB 3.0 PCI Express card from D-Link to your desktop can give you 10 times the performance over USB 2.0, so let's get started. Open the packaging and inside you'll find the product documentation and installation CD. You'll also see the DUB1310 PCI Express card with two USB 3.0 ports. On the bottom, the PCI Express connection, and as you can see, you must plug in a Molex power connection, which is usually provided inside the computer from the power supply unit. And you also get a short bracket to use if you have a low profile PC. Now, power down the computer and unplug all the cables from the back. In most cases, you'll need to remove one of the side panels, but all PC manufacturers are different. However, luckily, at least most PC manufacturers have switched to easy to remove thumb screws or something else just as easy. When looking inside the computer, you'll see a handful of different size slots. Some may be already in use, but what you're looking for is the smallest slot. It looks like this. If the slot is unused, it's most likely covered with a blank faceplate. Using a simple Phillips head screwdriver, remove the screw, but save it because you'll need it to tighten down the DUB1310 later on. You no longer need the faceplate, so set it aside. Now take the DUB1310 Express card and connect it to the PCI Express port in the computer with the USB ports facing out the back. The connection will fit snugly, but don't force it in. Now, find any available Molex power adapter that looks like this inside the computer and connect it to the back of the PCI Express card. Finally, screw the PCI card into place and you're almost done. Slide the side panel back on Screw it into place, reconnect the cables, and then turn on the computer. Now insert the CD that came with the DUB1310 and the installation will automatically begin. Once the window pops up, click on Install Drivers. And all you need to do now is follow the prompts and the default options will work just fine in most cases. And that's it. You now have two USB 3.0 ports that are also compatible with USB 2.0 to do what you like with. And if you're looking for a few additional USB 3.0 ports, or you want easy desktop access to those USB 3.0 ports, check out the DUB1340. Just plug it into one of the new USB ports on the back of your computer, and you have yourself four additional USB 3.0 ports right in your desktop. Thanks for watching.